Brass band. If there was a single moment when jazz was born, it might have happened when men gathered at a shed and dealt out battered instruments and blew painfully through their brass all of the passion of their heritage. 200 years of history is embodied in this music. <laughs> the Laneville Johnson Brass Band, one of the last of the great country bands. The instruments are old and the men are old. And when they're gone, the last link will be broken between the old country music and jazz. Up feelings of two centuries burst like a river cracking the mighty wall of a giant dam. The tributaries merged and mingled and washed into the big river and spilled down the great watershed. There was a town in Louisiana just under the levees. They called it New Orleans. <laughs> is the Eureka Brass Band of New Orleans. The music they play could not have come about without all the old conversations in song, all the old longings of the blues, all the choked notes heard in deep woods churches, and all the thrust and brawn of the work gang. New Orleans jazz has inherited the flood and carries its legacy with a flourish. miles from New Orleans, all that remains of a once prosperous plantation stands at a crossroads. Nearby lives a man named Horace Sprott. He has never been to New Orleans, 
He's never heard the Eureka Brass Band or any of his great musical descendants. Jazz band included Lou Stein piano, Max Kaminsky trumpet, Saul Yeager clarinet, Kay Winding trombone, Cliff Lehman drums, and Jack Lesberg bass. Next week, 40 fathoms deep. Odyssey will take its live cameras down to the bottom of the Spanish main in search of gold lost over two centuries ago. We'll seek out a Spanish galleon from a plate fleet which disappeared off the coast of Florida. We'll search the ocean floor for the treasure plundered from the Incas. Join us next week on Odyssey when we'll originate live from the Florida Keys. Here are three reminders calculated to keep you in the right direction for great entertainment today, tonight, and tomorrow. This evening, The Ed Sullivan Show will bring into your homes the songs of Kate Smith, the comedy of Imogene Coca, the talented South American singer Fernanda Montel, the zany specialty of Professor Backwards, the Danish Dam Brothers, and direct from France, the thrilling ballet Basque. Tomorrow night, CBS Television's Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz will have a most unusual visitor, nobody less than Superman. Anxious for little Ricky's birthday party to outdraw a rival party, the Ricardos will get Superman's help. But Lucy will still wind up at the edge of the ledge tomorrow. Next, over most of these stations, enjoy Peggy Wood as Mama. As we understand the Hanson dilemma for today, it will surround a temporary visitor in their home. Let's look in on Mama following station identification. <laughs> <laughs>